All right, like I said, what was I doing? Sometimes I record a full video and I realize my microphone's not working. Hi, right, guys, this is Joey. Uh, we're going to be talking about the first three T20 internationals between United States and Canada. In my book, United States has one win and USA Cricket owns two big failures. And I'll explain what that means in a minute here. But we'll talk about the first uh, T20 International that took place on Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon um, at Prairie View Cricket Complex. And we talked about other people have more intelligently talked about the problems in this complex, how there are no permanent bathroom facilities, there's no permanent locker room, um, there's great susceptibility to flooding, um, and it's not an ideal place to hold the you know, official United States cricket matches in. So there were a lot of potential problems going into this, but the first game was potentially good. Now, it was still messed up at the end, and we'll we'll get to that. But um, the United States looked like they had a pretty solid win the first match, um, and I'll go over that right now. So on the bowling side, the United States looked pretty decent, and the highlight of the bowling was uh, Notush Kenjike. Um, this was his first game. Uh, playing for the United States, and he looked spectacular, picked up three wickets overall, uh, only allowed 20 run runs off of four overs. He looked spectacular. Uh, Netravalkar also picked up two wickets, 30 runs over four overs, and um, Shadley Van Schalquick, um, he's quickly becoming um, like one of my favorite players on the team, uh, picked up two uh, wickets, um, and had a very, very good uh, economy rate, um, only allowed 19 runs overall. So I think overall, Canada only had 132 runs. Um, it only took United States 17 and a half overs to reach that, to catch up to Canada um, as we batted second. On the batting side, um, the two most notable uh, batters for the United States were uh, Monak Patel, uh, the captain, and Andres House. I keep saying goose before, but it's House. Um, and they both scored uh, half centuries. Um, very, very good strike rates uh, overall, in my opinion, you know, in my lowly opinion. Um, it looked really good. Uh, watching them play and just, you know, knocking a lot of boundaries. Monak Patel got uh, seven fours and one six, and Andres House got five fours and three sixes. So they looked really, really solid against the Canadian uh, bowlers. Uh, Steven Taylor also produced. He didn't look spectacular, but he had 22 runs off 23 balls. I mean, he produced. Um, and then you have Aaron Jones, Milin Kumar, uh, Gajanan Singh you know, getting a couple of runs here and there, but it was mainly Andres House and Monak Patel that uh, carried the United States to victory here on the batting side. What I want to share with you is this. So what should have been a very decisive United States win was marred by controversy or controversy. Um, thank goodness we have such a, you know, amazing journalist like Pita de la Pena um, to, to watch out for this because it, had it not been for him, I don't know who would have caught this. But uh, PDP says, upon further review, double checking the video evidence against my own handwritten scorecard, U.S. cricket match officials and scores committed a series of major blunders with the scoring today. Uh, the recorded online scorecard shows Aaron Jones scoring three runs, which anyone who was at the ground knows did not happen. And in reality, he only scored one run. If you go back and piece together the video, technically speaking, the match ended uh, with USA one run short of Canada's total rather than USA winning due to Jones being awarded two phantom runs. Now, I'm going to I'm not going to. I'm not going to read the whole thing. What I'll do is I'll leave Peter de la Pena's uh, post in the uh, description and you can read all of this, but it is multiple repeated errors by the umpires and by the score takers, uh, the scorers in this match. Um, and I think USA cricket would be responsible for that. Uh, it's very embarrassing. So I think Canada is appealing this victory. Um, so yeah, it says Cricket Canada team management um, filed a formal complaint with ICC over scoring errors. So, you know, the incompetency of United States cricket is just in full force. And I will leave those links. Please read the articles from Peter De La Pena's Facebook page in full. 
comment on you know his Twitter page and Facebook and let let you know let your opinion be heard on this because you should know about it if you watch USA cricket. In my opinion, yeah, maybe the USA won, but it's not. It shouldn't. I don't know. I don't know if I should have an opinion on this, but it's embarrassing seeing such score scoring, you know, irregularities. And like I said, thank goodness uh, somebody caught this. Uh, so Peter Dale Pan is doing great work. So that's the first game. I think that's a failure for USA cricket rather than a win for the United States. Let's talk about the second game. Okay, the second game was a lot more to be excited about. And I watched this game in full. I was like kind of listening to this stuck in traffic, uh, Washington DC traffic. So like I got the full game, I was listening to it like 1.25 speed. Um, like I know a lot of people do that, but the biggest uh, things to notice is like, you know, I put on, on the comments on one of the live videos today, like what does my infant son and Canadian bowlers have in common? What do they have in common is they both like to get rocked because the Canadian bowlers got absolutely rocked by the United States batters. Um, it was awesome to, to listen to and watch. So Steven Taylor led off for the United States. He got 54 runs off of 25 balls, you know, a strike rate of 216, which is like fantastic. Seven fours and three sixes. Um, Monak Patel, 68 runs off of 35 balls. And then you had Andres House come up, 57 uh, runs off of 35 balls. So you have back to back to back. Uh, half centuries. It was just a beauty to watch. And then uh, Aaron Jones comes up. He produces. He wasn't out, but he had 34 runs off of 20 balls not out. And then Shade Shadley Van Schalquick, uh 13 runs off five balls. I mean, he produced big time too. And like we, you know, need him for his bowling, but he's like he's like a pretty solid all rounder from what I've seen. Like this is like one of my new favorite players, and obviously I really like this like four guys in the starting lineup. Like yeah, that was a beauty to watch. I enjoyed that so much. Um, and the Canadian bowlers got rocked big time. So um, I was kind of surprised. Like Nicholas Kirtan only had one over. Uh, he got rocked big time. Dylan Hayleaker um, just didn't know, you know, how to handle the the batting from the United States. So uh, very few wickets from them. And, you know, I was kind of expecting Canada to do better in, in their bowling. But Canada quickly turned around and was also um, smashing a lot of runs, too. So it was a very offensive battle uh, in this game. Aaron Johnson went 74 runs for 40 balls. So, I mean, he did spectacularly. Um uh Sri Manantha uh had a had a golden duck, uh zero runs for one ball. Um, and then you have uh Pargat Singh, Nicholas Kirtan. Um uh, Nicholas Kirtan did great, only uh 21 runs off of nine balls, but I mean he produced and then harsh taker um not out 34 for 17 balls. So pretty decent all around, but luckily our United States bullion was able to get wickets. And I think that was the difference between Canada and the United States. It's like we were getting the wickets and it was kind of going throughout the game. Like we kept getting major wickets and times they had to change their batting where we didn't have to do that. So Netravalka got two uh, wickets. Shadley Van Schalquick, another two wickets. Uh, huge. It seemed like everyone who bowled uh, got at least a wicket. Um, and so it was a great team effort all the way around. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bowlers uh, in this. So a lot of variety and uh, it was great to watch. So this was a pretty solid win for the United States. Um, this was a clear win and I just like to see better bowling next time. But overall, it was really great. Now, what's going to, what do you talk about the second? the third game i'm all tired from working all day so this is what happened with the third day the third day was canceled um it's not raining but it was flooded and we've talked about how uh this stadium other people have talked about how this uh cricket complex is prone to flooding um this is super fan pj goldles here um great guy and he's talking about the pitch here just and this is peter de la pena's facebook like i said you have to go and and watch it directly i'm just going to give you a taste and it says uh he says usa versus canada's 30 20 international officially abandoned without a ball bowl due to a wet outfield that is crap 
It has not rained since 7 a.m. Awful, non-existent. There should be a dash right there for it. Anyway, so drainage at Prairie View Cricket Complex strikes again. And he traveled about an hour or two to get to the stadium, an hour there, an hour back. Like, dude, dude, if you're traveling like more than an hour to get, like, first off, God bless you because you're a super fan and like you need to be celebrated for your dedication. But like USA Cricket does not even care. It wasn't like officially can't like they're not letting fans know like, hey, this game's going to be canceled. It's like they don't care. Why did they pick this stadium? There's just so many things. and I can't yell because my kids are sleeping right now. But so this, in my opinion, is failure number two for United States cricket. So two failures, one win for United States. Uh, we are our own worst enemy. I love the players. I love everything. But United States cricket can... <laughs> I, I can't say bad words, uh, but I'm very, very disappointed in them. They need to quit immediately. They are completely incompetent and more intelligent people than I am have been saying this for a lot longer. Um, and so I'm going to leave all those details in my Facebook, uh, my Facebook and my YouTube description. And please check them out if you want the best information on that. So that's all I got to say about these three games. We'll cover the next two games on this channel. Um, and we'll also be talking about the US at the ACC Premier Cup, which is coming up, and also the global qualifier for the Women's T20 um, World Cup, too. It says it's not going to be televised, but we shall see. So, see you guys on the next video. <laughs> I got to go.